Today is the day to pray. God is inviting us to talk to him, to trust him, and to tell him all our cares, our sorrows, even our pains. God will not forsake us. In fact, God loves us more than we do love ourselves. God is love. And the only way for us to, to tell him that we have faith in him is for us to pray to him. Whatever your challenges in life, dear friends, the crisis you're facing today, the calamities that you're trying to overcome by your own, like you, I'm inviting you to surrender them all to Jesus. And let's humble ourselves and pray. Dear Lord, today, thank you for this great day to pray. Thank you for the sunshine. Thank you for the food, the water, the shelter. Thank you even for our jobs, our sustenance. Thank you even for our loved ones and friends. Lord, thank you for loving us more than we do love ourselves. More than others loves us. You love us more. You give us what we need every day to survive. Lord, thank you for the faith you have given to us through your Holy Spirit. May we look up to you every, every moment of our lives. One day you will come again. And those who have been trusting you will be saved. And those who believe you will see you come from the clouds of heaven. So dear God, I pray for my brothers and sisters today. Please, Lord, provide for them the answers to their prayers. I pray, Lord, that you will sustain your faithful people at this time. Thank you also for the Sabbath that is coming today. Thank you that on the six days we could work, do our labor, but on the seventh day we could fellowship with one another, above all, with you. We accept today's prayer, Lord as our desire and demonstration, dedication in fact, of our great love for you, of our desire to be loyal to you, of our determination to hold on to the faith that our forefathers bestowed on us. Thank you for forgiving us our sins, Lord, today. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.